up guys it is smashcraft 9 here and as you can see i have a little house here and if you've clicked on this video it's because you wanted to see a quicksand trap now last time i made one for i think 1.7.4 something like that so i just wanted to get another one out there it's basically the same concept if you haven't seen it it's my most popular video and this is for 1.7.10 latest version so far to this day so basically i'm just gonna break these before we go in i have a nice little house in here i'm gonna place these back because that's basically how the trap works and now if we go into survival and walk in it's a quicksand trap it takes you slowly and you can't get out because there are cobwebs just wait yeah there are signs involved in it and it will start to burn you yes okay so that's basically how it works let's take another look yeah so yeah that's basically how it works and then those things break and then you can reset it and stuff like that we can get out and yeah that's basically what it is so i'm just going to teach you guys how to build it first you need to find out where you're going to put it you can use any uh redstone mechanism trigger whatever you want to call it uh i like pressure plates for a house so we're going to place two guys down and now we can just go under them and we're going to really quickly want to make a little more room two now if we step on either one both of them should ignite now we want our hmm let's have our house right here and the sand right here nope my bad let's put that back and then the sand right here you can literally have the biggest amount of sand you want to fall i just do it like this because i don't think they could get far more far than this Oh, and uh, yeah, so now you're gonna wanna, well at first you just wanna break a hole, scratch that, let's make it a little bigger, and now we can throw that stuff away. So what you will need is a redstone torch, redstone repeaters, redstone, a sticky piston, and a block, I'll just use dirt. So let's get down here. So this is basically what you have, you have your thing, and then you should have three actually, my mistake three extras but one block deeper then here you're actually going to want to place these because or else you can't actually it's here my bad okay so no there you go like that now you have this now you want to rig them up with redstone repeaters here you want to get some redstone boom now Right here is where you leave one block extra. You're actually gonna use it like this. There. Now, over here, it has to be two, it can't be one. It has to be two, and it has to like be shooting into it. If you light it, it turns off. Take it off, it unlights. So that's basically how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna get back to the main place. And now we can rig it up. We're gonna use redstone repeaters because it can't go this far. Let's get one right there and maybe one right here, just in case. Just wanna be careful. So now we can, I'm gonna take this. Okay, perfect. Now we break our little thing, our second place. You're actually gonna wanna break it all the way to bedrock or uh, one, two, three, four actually. So four blocks deep. This is three. I know we're gonna break this. I just don't wanna fall down there. So now that this is working, yep, we can go ahead and start placing our cobwebs. Now let's just get some cobwebs. There we go. And we can just start placing them like this. Okay, there. That's the sink thing. Next. Oh yes, I forgot to say this. If you want to, I mean, you can have these there. There, I don't really like it, so I usually do something like this and won't have a second one. You probably won't want that either. It's not that it's bad for the drop, but now, uh, where are they? Yeah, 
Okay? You're going to want to do this. This is very important. You do not place, do not place the signs like this. You start them off here. You can write on them, doesn't matter. And you have to click on it. Make sure you click on the sign after you click, after you place one. You want to do the same here until how long, no matter what your trap is, until it can't go anymore because of the wall. Now, when you step on it, this is going to retract, making these fall, these fall, these fall. Now is when you put, well, let's first go in. I'm just going to, here. It's easier to do it on not a flat world. So I'm just going to break this off. This is where we're going to put our lava. Let me just go through that really quick. Ah. There you go. And now, I guess bedrock like that. And now we can put this like that, and like that, and fly out. Now we have this. Close our sign again. Now, you place down the majestical sand. And yes, there you go. And that's basically the trap. I like this trap a lot because you can easily cover it up if you did it right. So, yes. There you go. Now, I'm not going to make the best house right here, but let's make a beautiful dirt little dome, I guess. I don't know. It's a good trap. It's fun to play it on your friends and stuff like that. Let's just... I know this isn't very good, but I mean, it's just as much as I can do. So we're going to take this off just for now. So you walk in or run, whatever, it starts like this and it's, you would probably be good on survival. And, I mean, you can't really get out now that you're in a cobweb. For some reason, there isn't a block there. It just disappeared. Then you start to burn. And, da 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 Kill me. And, yeah. So, that's the quicksand trap. It's really fun. I mean, the only problem is you have to reset it. Not, like, that big of a deal. But, you have to get sand back. And, you have to, like, go down here. And, it's just da-da-da. And then place the thing, the, what's it called, uh, signs back, which probably burnt unless the person collected them, but then they die with the fire. So yes, thanks for watching guys, uh, please subscribe, and wait, make sure to tell your friends guys, and see you later.